Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a couple minutes and show you a little bit of the automation that we've done inside of our parts inside of Inventor. We use a lot of structural members and we usually do a lot of similar cuts to them in our designs. So when we're doing this over and over again every day, it ends up being a lot of wasted time. So we spent a little bit of our time and created this automation and I just wanted to show you a little bit of what we've done. I'm going to start with our coped beam template. And you'll see that this form pops up. So it allows us to select different sizes of beam. We've got a pretty wide selection. I'll go with eight by 40. We can change the lengths of it. And we can choose whether one side, both sides or no sides get coped. I'll do both sides. So then we get to choose what the cope is on each side of the beam, which beam it's mating up to. So let's do eight by 40 on the one side and 12 by 26 on the other side. So then I just need to keep following the form and fill in a title. So let's go to test beam one, project number. Yeah, if we wanna change the part class, we can. So we just need to save our part. Let's call it test beam one. And because we do a lot of fabrication drawings as well, we've also automated the drawing side. So all I need to do is press this button, close this, and we have a fabrication drawing. So this saves us a lot of time. We do hundreds of these in each design. Uh, so you can see it took me about two minutes to do this rather than upwards of probably five or ten if you weren't doing this automation included. So this is a great way to save some time and eliminate some waste. Thanks.